Hey everybody, welcome back to the Super Spring Declutter Challenge. Let's do this. Today we are decluttering books and movies. I'm so excited because books are starting to overrun our shelves, our very small shelves that we have, and that's not including the like 25 boxes of books that we have never unpacked since we moved in. <sighs> I'm not gonna look at those. I'm only dealing with stuff that's out, in my house, affecting my life every day, and trust me, I have enough books to deal with without getting into the storage stuff. So, let's tackle books. Don't forget the rules of this challenge. Number one, do not declutter things that don't belong to you. If there's something you think is in question, maybe just set it aside to ask the person about. And number two, don't take out more than you have time to put away. So I feel like books is gonna be an easy one for that because chances are most of them are probably on a bookshelf. And if they're not, let's make some room on that bookshelf and anything that's on the floor or in places they don't need to be, we can put it away, but there won't be a lot of hopefully taking things out of places. And number three, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below so I know that you wanna win a $100 gift card to a store that's local to you. So if having a declutter home isn't motivation enough, let's put some money on the table. All right, run around your house, grab all the books that you can find and bring them to one place and let's start decluttering. It's a lot of kids books and I have a kids bookshelf that's over there as well. I'm not gonna unload the shelf and bring it over here, but I'll have to go through that too. So this was all just books that were laying around my house in different places. I'm really trying to focus on having everything be in, in one spot, having a home for everything, right? That's the name of the game, for me at least. So I'm going to yeah. sort through this stuff. I, I definitely think my kids have too many books it's not that they have too many books. I love books. I love that they have lots of books, but I definitely think we need to reinstitute the book rotation because there's just too many and they pull them all off the shelves and it makes a big mess. So if, if we have less, it'll be easier to put them away. So I'm gonna donate a bunch that maybe we've grown out of or we just don't enjoy. And then I'll put some aside for rotation and try to keep just a small section and then we can rotate them out. I'm probably not throwing anything away. I don't think any of these books are garbage. So hopefully someone else can use them. All right, I have my donation box. Let's get sorting. I just have to point out, this is the craziest I thought I got rid of this book. It's terrifying. Like, look at this. It's a Christmas book. I'm getting rid, I, I can't even read this book. It's so bad. Another thing I like to toss for my kids, and this might seem crazy, but is book jackets. If you're a librarian, I'm sorry. I know this is making you gasp, but they just lose them and they're constantly just loose. So I am gonna throw away the jackets. I hope that's okay. <gasps> Look. Ah! It's the Sync Reflections Fly Lady book. I found this the other day at the thrift store. I had only ever actually borrowed it from the library. And then when I found this, I'm like, well, I have to have my own copy. It was $2 and I think a steal of a deal. If you haven't read this, it's definitely worth having a read whether you wanna use the Fly Lady system or not. So I'll keep that one for reference. One thing that I'm really feeling unsure about are these kind of magazines. And normally I would chuck a magazine away after I read it, but these are all kind of like home reno magazines, Jillian. And because we're doing a reno on our house right now, I have been using them for reference. So I guess I will keep these for now. I really like to see the ideas. And I think for now, while we're doing the reno, I'm gonna keep them. And then when we're done, I'll throw them away. This is one of my favorite books when I was a kid and now my kids just think it's hilarious. And also this one, I mean, come on. <laughs> oh, look at this. Okay, so this is so funny. So this is Marla Silly's book, The Fly Lady, but this 
is Pam Young and Peggy Jones from Sidetracked Home Executives. And this is my mom's original book from the 90s, which I asked her if I could have because this book inspired this book, which inspired me. And you're here watching me today. So that's a, kind of crazy. Like this was written in, I don't know, like 1990? Yeah, 1993. Crazy, right? So pff, like 30 years ago, people are still using it. Yeah. Lots of home kind of reno magazines. I need all the ideas. Okay, so the other thing I have out here because I wanted to unpack it when we moved is all my recipe books. And I don't know about you, but since the coming of Pinterest, I really don't use my recipe books that much. Well, I have a few I use, but mostly I just like looking at them. I'm gonna call a few here because I'm just not using them. Same thing, magazines, cooking magazines, like I love looking at them, but I don't use them, so. Jamie Oliver, I love these cookbooks. They're so beautiful, but Jamie Oliver lives in England, in London, in a city where you can get obscure ingredients. I live in Northern Canada, where creme fraiche just is not available. Oh, I don't know. So look at this shelf. So the top shelf is my husband's stuff, but I managed to clear out two shelves. So I'm gonna put my house stuff on one. Actually, I'll put them down here. No, I want my kids to have that one. Put them here. And this is kind of a house one, but not the house one. And then these are novels that I bought at this thrift store and I plan to read and I know it seems like a lot but actually I only bought these recently and I read a lot of books so not too long won't take there we go kids books I'm gonna go over to their shelf and get theirs organized and sort those out now okay so this is kind of the rest of my kids books the really interesting thing happening in our house right now is we have a toddler so perfect for you know like board books and then we have a four-year-old who loves picture books right like these ones that I read to her and then we have a six-year-old who's like a new reader and she reads kind of these books and the little novels and the little graphic novels so we have a very wide range of books that we're using right now which is kind of funny but I want to keep a little bit for each of them so I'm just kind of try to generally pare everything down and then put some stuff away and then kind of rotate having it out. The other thing that affects the amount of books we have is that we homeschool. So my daughter doesn't go to school and so I like to have lots of books on hand because she doesn't really have access to the school library although we fully take advantage of our public library. I just like to have lots of books. I love books. Upon further inspection, there is just an insane amount of books here. So I'm gonna cut each pile by like a third and put those out. Everything else can go away. I, I can't, I just, I can't throw them away. So I'm gonna put them in storage and label them and switch them out. I'm gonna set a timer, like a calendar notice to switch them out. It'd be nice to separate them by topic and season, but I also like to just have a variety of stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, there we go. So, I went from books all over the house and this thing very full of books to having an empty shelf over there and I think three shelves to one shelf. Most of these are gonna get put away for later. 
Um, some are gonna go into my craft room because they're like craft resource books, which I wanna keep, but if they're in the books, I can never find. And some are going to the thrift store for someone else to enjoy. All right, so there we go. I got my books decluttered. I still have to clean this up. Remember rule number two, don't take out more than you have time to put away. And I have about 20 minutes right now, so I'm gonna go grab a bin from downstairs, put all this stuff in there, label it so I know what's in there, and put it aside until I can determine when it's time to bring stuff out. And I'll know, because my kids will be asking for different books, and we'll just kind of go through and have our own personal library. So I hope you were able to make some progress today in your books. If you have movies to go through, or magazines, and newspapers, I hope a lot of them found their way out the door into someone else's life that can enjoy them, or to the dump, or the recycling facility, if they're not in good shape. Don't forget, I want you to win that $100 gift card to a local store of your choice. Make sure to hit subscribe, comment below. I'm gonna pick somebody from this video to win the $100 gift certificate. And then come back for the next video. We're gonna tackle a whole new space, a whole new set of things by the end of this month. Our houses are going to be looking fantastic. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.